Okay guys, so we are in module three dealing with some nomenclature and formula writing and this is always super intense for students and so I always have an in-class activity to really help. And so as we're dealing with this, I mean this is the bulk of this unit and because, I mean if you look, the learning outcomes here ionic compounds, covalent compounds, acids and bases, um, it, it ends up being quite a bit of different things embedded in these small learning outcomes. And so we go through all of the, the rules, we've done some practice, I've even given you these nice flow charts to really help you with, with studying, but the problem is until you actually get out there and do it, you're not going to really grasp it. And so in my face-to-face -face classes, this is the activity I always give. And so I give you a series of cations, a series of anions, and you're supposed to pair, create the correct neutral compound of all of these cations with all of these anions. Now that does not mean lithium with fluorine, sodium with chlorine. No. It means you're going to pair lithium with fluorine to make lithium fluoride. Then you're going to write the name and formula for lithium chloride, lithium oxide, lithium sulfide, and so on and so on and so on. I think there's 121 examples here, and that seems like a lot, but here's the thing. When you start doing this, somewhere between lithium and sodium, you usually start to see a trend. Um, then between magnesium and calcium, you see a trend. And the idea, guys, is you have to do as many as you have to do to really get it. Now, this is my video here is only the discussion of how to do it. The next video is the answers. And so I work through every single one of these, okay? So make sure you really try this. If you want, you can start that video and we'll work through it together. And then you can hit pause and um, do some on your own press play, check yourself, that kind of thing. You're also going to have some covalent nomenclature. Again, this works so much better if you've tried it before I give you the answers. And then some more formula writing, just random questions here. Now the other thing I want to show you is if you need those charts, I have those here for you. The other thing is you have a ton of supplemental homework this time. All of it is optional. You do not have to do your supplemental homework for me. Um, but you look at how many times it, it could be helpful. You know, for these types of questions, I think there's 300 options I have in my test bank. So the more you try, the more you do, um, the better. Your sample test this unit is only, I think, 12 or 13 questions but you can get more like 50 if you do the other. So you can really do as many as you want to become comfortable before, um, before you move into the graded activity, okay? So good luck and have fun with this.